The TR-85 is a main battle tank designed for the armed forces of Romania. Based on the TR-77-580, Romanian-built version of the Soviet T-55 tank, the TR-85 tank was developed from 1978 to 1985 and produced from 1986 until 1990. A modernization program was initiated in March 1994 in order to upgrade the TR-85 tanks to NATO standards. The result was the TR-85M1 main battle tank, currently the most modern tank in service with the Romanian land forces. Although a further development of the T-55, the TR-85M1 uses a T-block power pack, similar to the one used in the Leopard 1, based on a V8 German 830 HP diesel engine, an improved turret, a locally designed Cyclop fire control system, with crosswind sensor, laser range finder, and night vision. New 100mm BM412 SGAPF SDST projectiles and a completely redesigned suspension with six road wheels on each side, protected by metal side skirts. Combat weight is 50 tons. Predecessors, T-55 and TR-580. After the Warsaw Pact invasion of Czechoslovakia, Communist Romania adopted a new national defense doctrine. However, this new doctrine required a self-sustainable local defense industry. In April 1968 a preliminary report regarding the production of tanks in Romania was proposed to the National Defense Council of Romania. The report was ratified by the Defense Council on October 13, 1972. The development of a Romanian medium tank effectively started on May 13, 1974. The Romanian Defense Council wrote the specifications for the medium tank. The new vehicle would have a weight of approximately 40 tons, a 100mm main gun and a 500 horsepower engine. The next step taken was the production of 400 derivatives of the T-55 tank, as the local arms industry lacked the experience required to design and produce a medium tank from scratch. The communist government did not buy the license for the T-55 tank. The initial batch, the prototype and the first 10 tanks, officially known as the TR-77 tank, tank Romanesque model 1977 Romanian tank model 1977, was intended to use the Leopard 1 engine and, as a result, the hull was extended, having six instead of the usual five road wheels of the T-55 tank. However, because of the political need to reach the established production figures and the refusal of Krauss Maffei to deliver technology to a Warsaw Pact member, the medium tank, known as the TR-77-580 or TR-580, tank Romanesque model 1977 CU motor to 580 CP Romanian tank with 580 HP engine, was built using the V55 engine of the T55 tank and the extended chassis. The TR-77-580 tank was developed between 1974 and 1980 and was produced between 1979 and 1985. Development While the TR-77 was developed, from 1974 the Romanian engineers continued work on a reverse-engineered version of the 800-horsepower MTU Leopard 1 engine and transmission. The work came to a halt as the engineers lacked the experience to reverse-engineer such complex designs. By 1976 however, Institutul Național de Motor Termis, National Institute for Thermal Motors, stated that it could design an engine based on the Leopard 1 diesel engine model using available technology and solutions. Also, the hydromechanic transmission was designed by the Ixitem Research Institute from Bucharest based on an available model and produced by Hydromechanica Brasov factory, thus completing the T-block power pack. The engine and transmission were designed between 1974 and 1982, using foreign technology. Ion Mihai Pespa, a two-star Romanian Securitate general and the highest-ranking intelligence official ever to have defected from the former Eastern Bloc, later asserted in his book Red Horizons, Chronicles of a Communist Spy Chief that the engine technology was obtained using spy rings and confidential assistance from the Federal Republic of Germany. The new tank was officially known as the TR-85-800, Tank Romanesque Model 1985 CU Motor to 800 CP, Romanian Tank Model 1985 with 800 HP engine, and was designed between 1978 and 1986. 
The engine had a maximum output of 830 horsepower. The suspension was redesigned and the turret, while bearing a strong resemblance to the T55 series, was actually different. Production The main tank factory was established by Decree NR514 in December 1978 at FMGS Division, Fabrica de Massini Grille Speciali, Special Heavy Machinery Factory, of the August 23rd plant, now known as 4, in Bucharest. The construction of this tank factory was finalized in 1980. The factory was a militarized zone and was top secret, requiring a special permit to enter. By 1983, the FMGS tank factory could produce 210 tanks per year. The TR-85 tank was produced between 1986 and 1990 at rate of approximately 100 tanks per year. The TR-85 tank was soon found to be mechanically unreliable. Teething problems included high fuel and oil consumption, engine and transmission problems and chronic oil leakage. Furthermore, the Cyclop fire control system was unreliable because of the poor quality of electronics. The laser range finder was not integrated with the daylight aiming system and only a limited number of corrections could be inserted in the ballistic fire control computer. Problems were made worse when Nikolai Sosko decided to cancel in July 1982 all imports of special equipment for the arms industry. At one point, Sosko threatened to stop tank production altogether because of the poor manufacturing quality. The initial teething problems were not corrected until after the fall of communism in Romania when the Romanian engineers used foreign parts to improve TR-85's reliability. Modernization Program In March 1994, the Romanian general staff initiated the modernization program of the TR-85 tanks by order number 1429. On April 14, 1994, the upgrade program was approved by the Supreme Council of National Defense and Development of the new tank, officially designated TR-85M1 Bisonal, the Bison, started in 1996 when two prototypes were built. The aim of the program was to upgrade the TR-85 to NATO standards by improving the firepower, protection, mobility, the communication systems and the reliability of the engine, transmission, and the braking system. The modernization program involved both foreign companies, most of them from France, such as Aerospatiale Matra, Sagem, Kalmorgan Artis, Racel, and local defense companies such as the Romer Military Consortium, Metra, Military Equipment and Technologies Research Agency, Electromagnetica, 4, Lprof, Arite, IOR, Prooptica, Artego, Arsenal Resita, Metoff, Fursafe, Anticorrosivol, IEMI, Rolast, Aristar and IOEL. The result of the modernization program, the TR-85M1 tank, is compliant with NATO standards. Design Countermeasures Concealment The turret is fitted with two six-barreled 81mm smoke grenade launchers and two four-barreled flare launchers. The system can create a thick smoke that blocks both vision and thermal imaging. The tank is also equipped with a smoke screen generator that is triggered by the driver. When activated, diesel fuel is injected into the hot exhaust, creating the thick smoke. The TR-85M1 is equipped with laser illumination warning sensors that can automatically trigger the GFM-76 smoke grenades and flares, thus disrupting the guidance systems of thermal and infrared guided missiles. The Sailor System de Avertisere La Illuminaria Laser I Radar, Laser and Radar Illumination Warning System, Laser Warning Receiver can locate and identify the threat, warning the crew and triggering the DLC, Dispositivo de Lancer Contram Surai, Countermeasures Launching Device. Armor The armor of the TR-85M1 tank has a maximum thickness of 200 mm, multilayered for the hull and 320 plus 20 mm add-on armor on the turret. The 20 mm add-on armor on the front of the turret has a modular appearance with a triangular profile. Although it might look like bricks of explosive reactive armor, the add-on composite armor is designed this way for easy replacement after combat damage. The tank also has side skirts as a protection against shaped charges. The metal side skirts have three holes each that form steps for the crew to reach the roof hatches. 
On the sides of the turret there are ammunition boxes for the heavy anti-aircraft DSHK machine gun. The upper glassy plate has two track segments, while the lower glassy plate can be fitted with steel screens or a mine roller. The TR-85M1 tank also has NBC protection and an improved, rapid-fire suppression system using non-toxic agents. The system, designed by El Hotelier, protects both the crew and the engine compartment using Halon. The modernized version adds an additional mine protection plate and a bar for the driver, which increases protection against mines and improvised explosive devices. Also, the older TR-85 tanks have a conventional driver's seat bolted on the floor of the tank, whereas the M1 version has a parachute harness-like arrangement. In this way, the driver does not have any contact with the hull except on the pedals and is out of the shockwave area of exploding landmines or IEDs. Armament Primary Armament The main armament of the TR-85 M1 is the 100mm A308 rifled tank gun, an adaptation of the M1977 towed anti-tank gun made by Arsenal Reseda, that was also fitted to the TR-77 tanks. The TR-85 M1 has a rate of fire of about 4 to 7 rounds per minute and can carry up to 41 projectiles inside the tank. The gun barrel is fitted with a bore evacuator and has a thermal sleeve. The TR-85 tanks use a manual loader. The modernized version has a number of improvements to increase the reliability of the gun. The hydraulic buffer was improved by replacing the rubber sealing and the electro-erosion of the chrome layer from the hydraulic buffer and recuperator has been removed by changing the design and manufacturing process. The gun can fire APFS DST, BM421SG, shaped charge, BK412R and BK5M, high explosive, of 412, armor piercing with tracer, ballistic capped BR412B and BR412D and target practice, PBR-412 and PBR-421B, rounds. There was also an APFSTS round that is no longer in production. In order to increase the firepower of the TR-85 tank, the BM-421SG round, known internationally as the M309 cartridge, was developed in cooperation with Israel as part of the modernization program started in 1996. Made by Arate SA from Bucharest and marketed by Romerm SA, the BM421SG projectile can penetrate 444 mm of ray at 90 degrees at 500 m, 425 mm at 1000 m and 328 mm at 4000 m. Secondary Armament The TR-85 M1 tank has two machine guns. A 12.7x108mm DSHKM heavy machine gun in a pintle mount on the loader's hatch ring. The DSHK machine gun is made by UM Kujer and can be used as a light anti-aircraft weapon. To fire and reload the weapon manually, the gunner has to partially expose himself to suppressive fire. A 7.62x54mm RPKM machine gun also made by UM Kujer as the armored vehicle machine gun version of the MD-66 machine gun, in a coaxial mount to the right of the main gun. The coaxial MG is aimed and fired with the same computer fire control system, Cyclop, used for the main gun. Aiming The TR-85 M1 is equipped with the local made Cyclop M, Cyclops M, M stands for Modernized, Ballistic Fire Control Computer, a third-generation FCS and an improvement of the previous, second-generation, Cyclop FCS, used on the TR-85 version and equipped with an Intel 8080 microprocessor, 1KO of RAM and 12KO of system memory. According to the manual of the Cyclop M fire control system, the ballistic solution generated ensures a hit percentage greater than 95% for a target under 2,000 meters and greater than 75% for a target between 2,000 and 3,000 meters. Also, the Cyclop M can be used to aim a target located at up to 6 kilometers away with the AF-421 high explosive round, up to 5 kilometers away for the BM-421 SG APFSDST round. 4 km for the APT rounds and up to 3 km for the heat projectiles. The coaxial machine gun can be aimed at a maximum distance of 2 km using the FCS of the tank. 
The gun is electrically stabilized on two axes by the EADS computer-aided stabilization system. The new stabilization system improves the accuracy of the main gun and reduces the target engagement time, turret temperature, noise, fire hazard, and maintenance. The turret has RKS roller bearings to ensure a better stabilization of the A308 gun. The gunner's day sight telescopic periscope features an integrated laser range finder, 200m to 5.000m measurement distance, and an electronic reticle. Above the gun barrel there is a Sagem Matisse passive thermal viewer designed to operate at wavelengths between 3 and 5 μm in the spectral band. Initially, the TR-85M1 tanks had an inferior Sagem Alice passive thermal viewer, 8 to 12 μm in the spectral band, for the gunner, now present in export configurations. The driver has an AONPI passive night sight, which is also the standard night vision device for the gunner on the older TR-85 tanks. The commander has a SFIM, Societe Française des Instruments de Missouri, EC255R panoramic sight with a second-generation SAGEM image intensification system that can be independently directed to the target. Mobility The original TR-85 was powered by the 830-horsepower 8VSA2T2, 4-stroke, 8-cylinder, liquid-cooled, turbocharged direct-injection diesel engine, and a 6-speed, 4 forward, 2 reverse, THM 5800 hydromechanic transmission, engaging under load, 1 power flow in straight run and 2 power flows in TURs with planetary final transmission, giving it a governed top speed of 50 km per hour on paved roads. The TR 85M1 has an improved version of the original engine. The new 8VSA2T2M provides 860 horsepower and has a top road speed of 60 km per hour. However, because the weight of the tank increased from 42 tons to 50 tons, the power to weight ratio has been reduced from 19.7 to 17.2 HP slash ton. The tank has a maximum road range of about 400 km and can be fitted with two optional 200 liter drum type fuel tanks at the rear of the vehicle for an increased operational range. Like the T54 55 series, the TR85 has an unditching beam and a snorkel, to allow river crossings, mounted at the rear of the hull. To meet the power demands of the new equipment, a Kalmorgan generating set has been installed. The new power generation system provides 20 kilowatts of stable voltage. The TR-85 tanks have a torsion bar suspension. The modernized version also has eight telescopic hydrogas shock absorbers to increase the overall speed. The running gear consists of six dual rubber-tired road wheels and four return rollers per side, with the idler wheel at the front and drive sprocket at the rear. The first two road wheels have characteristic prominent gaps between them and the rest of the road wheels. The tank has two bolt tracks with metal rubber articulations. The M1 version has aluminum alloy road wheels. The braking system has been improved by replacing the old wet multi-disc brakes with dry multi-disc brakes and the old hydraulic system with a new servo mechanism. Interior The TR85 has a typical tank layout, driver's compartment at the front, fighting compartment in the center and engine compartment in the rear. The four-man crew consists of the commander, driver, gunner, and loader. The driver's hatch is on the front left of the hull roof. The commander is seated on the left side of the turret, with the gunner to his front and the loader on the right. The TR-85 has a cramped crew compartment, a characteristic of the T-54-55 series. Although it has an extended chassis, the extra space is used by the larger engine. The TR-85 M1 also has a turret bustle, but this does not alleviate the crew comfort because of the additional equipment of the modernized version. Although there are no height limits for tank recruits in the Romanian army, the recommended maximum height is 1.68 m as in practice anyone taller will have to sit in an uncomfortable position with limited physical movement. The communication system consists of U.S. and U.U.S. stations with intelligent frequency jump and encryption. The crew has an intercom with 4 plus 1 stations. Variants TR-85, basic model, produced from 1986 until 1990. TR-85, armored recovery vehicle based on the TR-85 chassis. 
TR85M1 Bazonal, modernized version, produced from 1999 until present. DMT85M1, armored engineer vehicle based on the TR85M1 chassis with a new, fixed superstructure, a 6.5 tons crane and a Pearson's TWMP mine clearing plow. The commander has a cupola with RWS. Five were built between 2007 and 2009. The TR-85 tank has been referred to in Western sources as the trademark 800, M1978 or model 1978 and TR-800. The Romanian army currently uses only the TR-85 and TR-85M1 designations. However, the early prototypes of the TR-85M1 were known as the TR-85M or TR-85M1A. The add-on armor of these tanks had a different shape and was welded. Additionally, the turret bustle had a different shape and the bore evacuator had a different position. A TR-85M1A variant is currently on display at the National Military Museum in Bucharest. In 2002, a TR-85M1 tank was tested with a V12 IFCO 1200 HP engine, but did not enter production. The prototype was referred to as the TR-85M2 tank in some sources, however there is no proof that the Romanian army ever used this designation. In 2007, when the DMT-85M1 was developed, there were also plans for other derivative vehicles based on the TR-85M1 chassis, including an armored recovery vehicle version and an armored vehicle launched bridge. These variants are currently in development. Operators Romania, the Romanian Land Forces operated 249 TR-85 and 54 TR-85M1 tanks in 2014, falling to 227 TR-85 and 54 TR-85M1 tanks in 2017. The modernization program is still in progress. Type Main Battle Tank Place of Origin Romania Service History in service 1986 present. Used by Romanian Land Forces. Wars Romanian Revolution of 1989. Production History. Designer Institute 111. Dureșia Tancurai I Auto. Designed 1978-1986. Manufacturer Mechanical Factory Bucharest, part of Romer Military Consortium. Produced 1986-1990. TR-85 1999-2009, TR-85M1 Upgrade Variants TR-85, TR-85M1, DMT-85M1 Specifications, TR-85M1 Bison Weight 50 tons, 55.12 tons Length 9.96M, 32.7 feet, with gun forward with 3.435 m, 11.27 feet. Height 3.10 m, 10.2 feet. Crew 4, Commander, Driver, Gunner, Loader. Armor turret, 320 plus 20 mm add-on. Hull, 200 mm in layers. Main. Armament. 100 mm gun A308. 41 rounds. Secondary Armament 7.62 mm coaxial packet machine gun 4500 to 5000 rounds 12.7 mm DSHKAA machine gun 750 rounds Engine model 8 VSA2T2M, 8-cylinder, turbocharged direct injection diesel 860 HP, 640 kW at 2,300 rpm. Power slash weight 17.2 HP slash ton. Transmission THM 5800 hydromechanic, 4 FWD, 2 rev gears. Suspension torsion bar with 8 telescopic hydrogas shock absorbers. Operational. Range. 400 km, 250 miles. Speed 60 km per hour. 37 miles per hour. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.